Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and today I'm going to show you guys this audio extractor from O-Ray. And the unique thing about this audio extractor is that you can take your Apple TV, you can also take a Roku or a Fire Stick, computers, or anything that has an HDMI output, and then it converts it over to eARC so you can run a soundbar regardless of what type of monitor, projector, or even TV that you have. So in this video, we're going to talk about it. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. So here's the box that it comes in, and a few things that stands out to me is that it's going to allow your TV with eARC functions to run over to your older audio equipment. Also, if you have a PS5 or Xbox Series X, you can get lossless 7.1 surround sound, which is great. Also, if we turn this around, it shows you some of the different ways you can hook it up, and it goes over some technical specs right here, so we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. In the box, you get a 5-watt power supply with a USB end on it. You get a full instruction book showing you how to set it up and how to use it. You get an RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable, and you get the HDA 391 adapter. Now looking at the back of the selector, you have a button here that you can select from two channels over to 7.1, depends on your source. You do have a DC input, and you can use the cable provided or use a USB on the back of a television or another source. You have an analog output, you also have a fiber optic output, and then you have three HDMIs. This one is going to go over to your amplifier if you have one that supports it. This one can go over to an eARC soundbar, and this one can go directly to the TV to pass through the audio source. Now take a look at the front of it. You do have an HDMI input, and that can go over to a computer. It can go over to an Apple device or any type of streamer. And then you have the different outputs that shows you with indicators. So if I press that button on the back, you can see it went from two channels to 5.1, and then 7.1, and eARC if you have a source plugged into it. Now looking at the bottom of it, you can screw it to a wall, plus it has rubberized feet, so you can mount it on a table, or you can put it on your desk, and it's not going to slip. This is how everything is set up. I have the TV output going over to the monitor. I have the Apple TV plugged into the front input. And then I have the 3.5 millimeter going over to the powered speakers. Then I have the soundbar connected to the soundbar output on the back of it. So now it's something I really want to show you guys that you can do with this audio extractor. So right here we have Dr. Strange. And if I press on it, you can see that it supports all these nice video formats. But look at the audio format, 5.1, which is pretty good. But watch this. If I go over to the audio extractor and press the button on the back, to put it in 7.1, the screen is going to flicker so it can readjust itself and watch what happens. So it comes back up, it still shows 5.1, but if I exit out of the application or the movie, and click on it again and go back in, look at that. Now I have the option to do Dolby Atmos is because the audio extractor pulled all the audio out of the Apple TV and now it's gonna give you much better audio especially if you have a soundbar that supports Dolby Atmos. For the next demonstration, I have the Xbox Series X up. And right here, we're going to go into the volume and the audio. So if I click on that, you can see that I get two options. I can do stereo, uncompressed, or I can do headset format. But watch this. We're going to go back over to the audio extractor. I'm going to press the button twice to put it into 7.1. The screen's going to flicker again. Now that it's back up, I can go out of the settings, go back into the settings, and look at this. Now I have option to 5.1 uncompressed, 7.1 uncompressed. You also have Dolby Digital, DTS, and Dolby Atmos for home theater. Amazing what this audio extractor can do. Next, we're going to take a look at the PS5. So if we go down here to sounds, and I will tell you the audio extractor is back in two-channel mode. If we go down to Amplifier, you can see that it's going to see two channels, but if we hit this twice and put it back into 7.1, the screen's going to flicker again, and there you have it, 7.1 channels, and again, that's uncompressed audio. I had to test one last thing. I have a computer set up, running through HDMI, going over to the audio extractor, but I don't really expect it to do much, so let's check it out. Right now, it's reading the monitor through HDMI, but I'll, I'll turn the camera so you can get a closer look at the screen. All right, so first of all, I have the computer uh, screen mirrored, and if you go over here where the monitor is and click on the little arrows and go down here to the bottom, you can see it's under stereo. 
So the option I get is stereo, Windows Sonic for headphones. So let's go back over to the audio extractor, click it twice, put it back in 7.1 mode, screen is going to flicker. Look at that. Now you have the options for 5.1 and 7.1 on a PC if your video card supports it. The next thing I want to see is that with a cable connected right to the monitor, what kind of input lag am I getting? And what happens once you put this audio extractor in line? So let's check it out. So again, this is just a regular monitor. I'm getting about 9.2, 9.1 milliseconds. So let's run it through the audio extractor and see what happens. So now let's check out the input lag. And you see right here, I have the cable going through the audio extractor. Let's go ahead and put it up on the TV here. 9.4, 9.1. So I don't notice any difference. Look, even went down to 8.9. So I don't notice any difference running through the audio extractor, which is great. So uh, there you have it. Last thing I'll show you guys is that I have the computer still set up. I pulled up my Storyblocks account, which is royalty-free music. I have the audio extractor right here, and I have the remote control for the soundbar. So you see I can turn the volume up, turn the volume back down. Now I do have it in two-channel mode, and as long as you're in two-channel mode, you can have a soundbar and an audio speaker playing at the same time. So I got that playing. I can then turn up the soundbar. So stereo mode, two sets of speakers. But if you do put the audio extractor into 5.1 mode or 7.1 and have a soundbar set up, all the tests I did, this speaker stops working. Anything hooked up to the analog on the back of it. So it goes back over to the computer. Let's see here. See now the analog is disconnected, but the soundbar still works. I want to show you another way you can use this audio extractor. First of all, I took the HDMI arc out of the back of the TV and plugged it into the TV feature. And then I just hooked up some analog speakers just to see if it'll work. With this configuration, I was able to get everything up and running. I had to go into the menu of the television and make sure that eARC was turned on. So that could vary from person to person. But here's what happened. Once I got it all up and running, the volume on eARC would not control the speakers, so you have to manually control the speakers unless you use a soundbar that has eARC on it. So I'll give you an example of this. Here's the remote control for this particular TV. You can see the audio system shows the volume going up and down, but nothing's happening. So since I'm running off of the RCAs, I can just manually turn it up here or use the remote control that came with these speakers. So at least this adapter allows you to bi-directionally hook up your TV and hook up analog speakers to it, which is pretty cool that you can do it this way or do it the other ways that I showed you. So in this video, I showed you four different ways to get this audio extractor up and running, but I want to leave you with this. If you have an Xbox Series X or PS5, it will support 7.1 uncompressed audio. However, you have to use HDMI 2.1 cables on it and you have to have a audio receiver or a soundbar that supports eARC, which is enhanced audio return channel. With that being said, if you have an Apple TV, Roku, or anything else that supports Dolby Atmos, I will tell you that it will be a compressed version of that. I actually really enjoyed it and I was very surprised with all the different functionalities of it. And I think it'll work for a lot of people. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video so you can use it as a future reference if you decide to buy the product. Now it retails for around $99, plus you'll need all the cables. But with that being said, I'll leave all the links in the description below. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Tech Steve.